here. Hello, my name is David Formholz. I'm running for president. This is uh, speech number five, and it's basically, if you've heard any of my other ones, they're basically start out with the fact that in times of war, you do anything to win the war. That's like, no matter how much money it costs, you spend any amount of money. We have a department of war, and you spend any amount of money to win a war, no matter how much it costs. You spend any amount of money to win a war. In times of peace, I'm going to have a department of peace. They'll spend any amount of money in peace. Okay, now. I was doing 60-40. You spend like 60% for the employee and 40% for who you work for. That's like I'm thinking, I talked a little about that plant or the city that's got the lead in the pipes. We have uh, pollution all over America. Anywhere there's pollution, we could start up a company that would go in and clean up the pollution, maybe $300 hour, $300 an hour wouldn't be enough, but $300 an hour would be minimum, where a company would get paid per employee $300 an hour to go in and clean up the pollution. And I, and I mentioned my idea in a couple of places where you could use gravity to generate electricity, which would make heat, where you wouldn't pollute to generate electricity to make the heat, to run a plant. I don't know whether you can make chemicals that would uh, defeat the chemicals to where the, you could uh, undo the chemicals and clean up the chemicals at these waste sites and undo the chemicals at the waste sites and maybe clean up the waste sites using gravity. My idea is that clean energy, David Formals, D-A-V-I-D-F-O-R-M-H-H-A-L-S, D-A-V-I-D-F-O-R-M-H-H, a L S and you can go look at my idea. Sometimes when I say it I don't say it quite right. Uh, I say it sort of confusing. You have to think about it, about like having uh like uh get my hand in here, like round containers of air where I say water, but you let oil get under them and the air goes up and there's a thing under it, underneath of them that the water or oil gets under and pushes like 20 of them up. And inside that one thing, there's a space where there's another thing next to it where you have rings around it and it slides slide down where the oil or air can't, or water can't get in. I can see that's it. I get confused and say it wrong. But anyway, they go down with the weight that's in between these containers of air. And they go down, and you get energy out of the rising air because the uh, oil that's above them all pushes the air up. And uh, I think you can get energy to power to clean up the waste dumps, and the federal government would pay them money with, through the Department of Peace to clean up all the, all the polluted sites in America. All these sites where we have pollution all over America, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, we wouldn't have to go in and fight for them. All the cities that have pollution would just automatically hire a company or they could start their own company and just hire people. You wouldn't have to fight anybody. You just automatically hire your own company and they just start building whatever they needed and go in and clean up these waste sites. You wouldn't have to wait for Congress to approve it because if you elect me, you're electing the idea. You're electing the idea through the Department of Peace that we're go that's what we're going to do. We're going to hire people to clean up these dumps, these waste sites, and there's got to be a way to detox these detoxins to unpollute these pollutions by putting some cleaning element into them so they no longer pollute and make them so they don't pollute 
and they're clean, if nothing else, just build a big container where they're no longer, <clears throat> so they're no longer out into the pollutions. But I'm just doing a short commercial, and I've decided from now on I'm going to hold this up at both the end and the beginning. So let me put this out here. And put this up here. Put this out here. Oh, yeah. And so, this is the end of my commercial or political ad. David Farmhouse and, and presidential candidate, number five. Thank you.